Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Um, there's been uh, uh, Israeli uh, airstrikes, missile strikes in Syria just an hour, uh, an hour after Trump announced that um, you know he'd be pulling the United States out of the Iran nuclear deal, and uh, which was huge news. I just you know just found out about it. I heard it on Fox, Shannon Bream. It's really not even in sort of the mainstream Google news feed yet, but um, you know that this is some time ago. It's already like six thirty something like that in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning in Syria. It's almost daylight hours now, so um, you know this is from like uh, goodness, I think uh, six or so hours ago. So here's some footage of it, and there's this. These are the uh, there's like three three clips that are circulating on Twitter. Here's the first one. And it was it was in an area south of Damascus, a town called uh, Al Kizwa. Reportedly there's a uh, military base there. It's suspected that it's uh, Iranian backed forces in that that's been growing in size over time. So that's what was targeted in the uh, the missile strike. I'm not certain if it was manned aircraft that do, do this, or if it's just missiles launched from, directly from Israel, that's not really said in the reports, but here's uh, some of the footage. And another one here. This is right from Syrian News, uh, State News, I believe. In one more. This is the most recent one. NDF, I believe this is uh, state news as well, but I'm not really sure. So according to reports, uh, Syrian air defenses were shot down two missiles. And there's no, uh, I didn't see any other numbers in terms of the number of missiles or, um, you know, uh, strikes that were made by by the Israelis. I don't think they've actually claimed that they are they're the ones who you know uh, did the strike. But at this stage, it's pretty much assumed that. And um, so from a couple different reports says Israel has bombed Syrian military base, killing nine people after fearing an attack from Iranian-backed forces moments after Donald Trump pulled out of the disastrous nuclear deal. The Jewish state launched rockets at the base in al Kizwa area south of Damascus after detecting irregular activity of Iranian forces in Syria. al Kizwa is... Um, well, here's Syria, here's Israel here, here's Damascus. The Golan Heights, I'm going to show you some pictures of Israeli activity there that I believe is occupied by Israel and is um, land that belongs to Syria that was seized in like the, uh, I think the 1967 war, I believe. I could have that wrong. But there's tank movement there. Um, Israeli air defense is being put in place, ex expecting an, a, a possible attack from Iranian forces inside Syria. That's what um, you know. Uh, Israel, Israel's concern has been, I think, you know, for some time. So, and there's Al Kizwa, there's Damascus. 
This is the Golan Heights in this area, I believe. Um, and I'll show you some pictures of that in a second, but let me just finish reading what was in the, uh, the Sun, and there's some stuff from the BBC. The UK-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said the strikes targeted depots and rocket launchers that likely belonged to Iran's elite Revolutionary Guard, killing nine people. They believe those nine very well may be from the Iran Iranian Revolutionary Guard. Syrian state news agency Sana had reported the sound of explosions near Kizwa and said Syrian air defenses fired at and destroyed two Israeli missiles. The Israeli army has opened civilian bomb shelters in Golan Heights in the north of the country, fearing an imminent strike. U.S. military officials told CNN that an attack could be launched from Iranian-backed uh, forces in Syria or Lebanon or even from inside Iran. I found that pretty remarkable. And that's, I mean, this is in the sun, but they're quoting the CNN that U.S. military force officials told CNN that an attack could be launched from Iranian backed forces in Syria or Lebanon or even from inside Iran. The Israeli army released a statement saying its troops are on high alert and defense systems have been deployed. The U.S. State Department has has today warned American citizens to consider carefully when traveling to Golan Heights until the situation stabilizes, reports CNN. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty unreal. You know, it's, it's, it's definitely escalating and whether or not this will, uh, um, dial back down, um, I don't know, you know, but it's definitely, And this is uh, an Israeli defense system designed to destroy rockets deployed in the Golan Heights near the Syrian border. Israeli tanks seen in the Golan Heights amid fears Iranian-backed forces could attack from inside Syria. Syrian defense systems destroyed two of Israeli rockets, according to reports. I don't know if that's what that's what's pictured there. I don't think so, but I mean. Fires rage in Syria after airstrikes from the Israeli military. Explosions filmed in Kizwa, area of Damascus, reportedly caused by Israeli missile strikes. And um, over at Business Insider, I think this is going to be uh, a lot of the same that I just 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 read and reported. Nine pro. Syrian fighters were reportedly killed in an Israeli airstrike near the Syrian capital of Damascus on Tuesday. Video of the alleged strikes were seen across social media. The incident comes shortly after President Donald Trump announced that uh, he would be withdrawing from the Iran nuclear deal and enact fresh sanctions against what he called the leading state sponsor of terror. On Tuesday night, the state-owned media outlets in Syria reported that its air defenses intercepted two Israeli missiles. That's the same videos that I had shown you. Israeli's military typically does not public, publicly discuss its airstrikes, but it recently took several steps indicating an escalating conflict with Iranian forces. On Tuesday, the Israeli army ordered the opening and preparation of missile shelters in the occupied Golan Heights but stopped short of instructing residents to occupy the shelters. It's pretty unreal. Military reservists were also activated and missile defense batteries in northern Israel were placed on high alert. According to the Times of Israel, the IDF is ready and prepared for a variety of scenarios and warns that any actions against Israel will be answered with fierce retaliation, the Israeli army announced, according to the Times. The incident comes shortly after President Donald Trump announced that he would be withdrawing from the Iran nuclear deal. Over the years, Iran and its proxies have bombed American embassies and military installations, murdered hundreds of American service members, and kidnapped, imprisoned, and tortured American citizens, Trump said in a statement on Tuesday. Over at the BBC, it's similar. Early on Tuesday, there were reports of loud explosions at a military base in the area. Uh, the Sana news agency said Syrian air defenses had shot down two Israeli 
uh, missiles in the Kizwa area on Tuesday. It reported no casualties, but but a monitoring group said at least nine pro-government forces had been killed, including Iranian-backed fighters. Commander supporting President Bash Bashar al-Assad told Reuters news agency the the airstrike had targeted a Syrian army position. The target was an arms depot. The dead included members of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard and other Shia militiamen. Israel has not commented on the reports, but it, but it has said it will stop what it considers Irani, Iran's military entrenchment in Syria. Iran has supported the Syrian government during the country's country seven year civil war etc and that's uh, that's that's what we know so far it's definitely escalating and um, I don't know I don't know where we'll go from here I'm surprised myself you know that it's so soon right after Trump pulled out of the um, pull out, pulled out of the Iran nuclear deal it's pretty pretty unbelievable all right. I'll follow, uh, you know, follow things, and uh, you know, as things develop, um, I'll make an updated vi video. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.